Okay guys, so I got my camera set up just like what you're going to have done. I got it on sleep. So I locked this axis right here. I locked this axis right here and we're going to do the, the tilt. If you put your camera like this, this is the idea that you want to end up with. I got this balanced, but uh, you'll still get the same thing out of this video. It's very simple. You're, this is the goal. You want to turn your camera on. I took my lens cap off. So everything is as if I'm going to record. When you put your lens up like this, you need you want it to stay. When you turn it, it stays. When you turn it, it stays. You can put this anywhere and it, it will stay. That's what the end result is for this balancing. You got this here that can go up and down. And you got here that goes in and out. So you have to mess with these two to get your tilt. What I did first was when I went like this, the camera used to go like that. Bring it, I brought it down. Because you bring it down, it will live away with this. So I kept doing that. You, you're going to have to mess with it until you get used to it. So I kept bringing it down a little tiny bit, little tiny bit, and then it would go like that. And then finally, it would just be straight. Now you got this one here as well. Hey YouTube family, hit that subscribe button because not only does it keep you in the loop, it also lets the YouTube algorithm know what that you like this sort of thing. Also, it helps the uh, YouTube algorithm push this video out to more and more wonderful beautiful people just like you when you put your camera like this if it goes like this, you need to come towards you if it goes like this, then you need to go away from you so when you're done this camera should fit should stay wherever you put it and that is how simple it really is this gimbal some of them are really hard but this one is uh, pretty simple to do so that's your tilt done and then you would lock this one and you would uh, I go with this one next to roll and I unlock it so when your camera is done up here right if your camera goes like this you need to go uh, in if your camera goes like that, then you need to come out. And you do, it's the same process with all of them. Except for you unlock this one. And you should be able, when you move this, right, you tip this, it should stay. Your pan should stay pretty pretty close uh, when you do your uh, balance with the hap uh, you can uh, it should come up this one comes up excellent 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 for all three axes but every axis should stay where you put it move it there if you move it there everything you know I did it pretty fast there that's it folks that's how simple it is to Ronan <laughs> so just hit that it's going to come up like this you click on now it's connected you can uh, work with these settings now I like this app it can turn the camera you can do anything you want with the camera pretty much um, from a distance so it's nice uh, you, you don't have to come up and hit record on the gimbal if you're wanting to step away so the, the, I like the virtual joystick and you can control the camera from a great distance. Uh, you can put the camera wherever you want with this joystick. Uh, I really do enjoy this feature. It's good for vlogging. As if you want to get yourself within a shot, you can see if you're in frame. So um, yeah, I use the uh, virtual joystick a lot. And you can uh, adjust the, uh, the smoothness, how fast and how slow it starts and stops. Now you can force, force mobile. 
this is a pretty good you enable this and uh, just watch this now every any way that you turn your phone it's going to cause the gimbal to respond exactly you see that now whatever you do with your phone right it's a nice feature you know and do you like that mr gimbal you do huh so so I, I like that feature as well and then you can just hit the recenter button and it will go back to being perfect so you just go back you can hit tracking this is a neat feature uh, you can as you see I got two waypoints there from my last usage but you just set your waypoints and just the camera will go to the first one and then you can set your second one which is already done here but I'm just showing you so you hit the, the second and the camera I'll go back now once you get all your waypoints in all you got to do is hit record and the camera will go to the first one it will take two second videos because that's what I got it set up for and it'll go to the second and do the same and as many I think up to 50 or 25 or something like that waypoints and you can force your camera or move it with the joystick so um, what else uh, let's go to yeah you can set up the, the your gaming controller to your cam gimbal that's an easy feature panorama you can similar to the other one but you set up what you want what what parameters you want and uh, you hit the the shutter button here and it will take pictures in each step you set your overlay how much more overlay you have the more uh, accurate the picture is going to be so uh, back to the main menu let's do a, a balance with this app and once you get everything set up and you think it's pretty good uh, you can do a, a balance and it will tell you uh, how good everything is set up. You got to tip it like it tells you 15 degrees or so and you hit the begin test and it goes through this procedure right here. When it's done it will tell you see I, I'm on excellent excellent excellent. Thanks guys.